stack ventilation we'll be dealing with four main types that is stack vent vent stack relief vent and yoke vent so as you can see in the figure you see we have a wc a lavatory a bathtub and all this connected to a waste stack this is your waste stack but the waste stack is limited up to this portion up to this portion okay up to this one after this this waste stack is extended upwards that extension is called as the stack vent okay in which no fixtures waste is connected okay that is called as the stack vent vent stack is a, another principal pipe a separate pipe for vent purpose okay this is generally provided for a building having five more than five branch intervals means a five plus story building so for a five plus story building we you need a separate vent stack okay and all the all the pipes vent pipes from individual fixtures will be connected to this vent stack okay as you can see for wc they have connected this one for lavatory this is your vent pipe connect to this vent stack and for this bathtub and for this uh, flow drain this is the pipe going connected to the vent stack so vent stack is a separate principal pipe generally employed for a building having more than five branch five branch intervals talking about the size the diameter of a stack vent or a vent stack shall not be less than one half the diameter of the drain shaft so whatever the diameter you have for this waste stack the vent stack vent should not be less than one half of this drain pipe or it should not be less than one one by four inches okay so for example this vent uh this drain stack is one one by four in that case what will happen you have to take half no just take minimum as one one by four okay so th that is what it is saying this is as per ipc section 906.1 relief and yoke vent relief and yoke vent are basically for high rise buildings okay for high rise building these are used and where they are used where you have a high pressure zones high pressure zones for example your water is coming from a 10th floor and you take an offset and it is going down so this portion is a high pressure zone in that case you have to provide a relief vent okay so these are for the high rise building you have to provide a relief vent and a yoke vent and this yoke vent is provided after every five branch intervals let me explain this relief and yoke vent with the help of a schematic of a high rise building so in this case you see we have a 13 floors building this is your drainage stack this is your drainage stack and this is your vent stack separate okay here if you see we have at two portions we have provided yoke vent at this point and at this point why because it's a high rise building and as per ipc after every five floors counting from the top we have to provide a yoke vent let's count over here see this is the top floor so 1 2 3 4 5 so after or on the same floor on the fifth floor you have to provide a yoke vent to relieve the pressure which is uh, coming uh, by means of waste okay so this is at the fifth floor we have provided now the second one 1 2 3 4 5 okay so at fifth we have provided another yoke vent to relieve the pressure so this is as per the ipc standard after after on or on every five floor you have to provide a yoke vent 
okay to relieve the pressure now wherever there is an offset see there is an offset in the drainage stack so there will be a high pressure zone in this case because the the uh, the waste has to you know it's bending at 45 and again it's bending at 45 it will create a lot of pressure so in that case you have to provide an offset relief vent okay taking connections at both the ends wherever the offset is starting and wherever the offset is ending just take the pipe connections and connect to the vent stack so this is called as the offset relief vent okay 